Hey guys, it's Ashlyn. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a Valentine's Day kind of makeup look. It's not gonna be like a wearable type look, but it's just gonna be like a fun Valentine's Day look. Something probably like pinky. Something probably like pinky red, sort of. I wasn't sure if I wanted to do a talk through or just like a video with like music in the background, but every time I put music in a video or if I do like a tutorial with music, then it gets copyrighted. So I didn't really want to have to deal with that. And I'm pretty sure you guys like talk throughs more anyways. Also, I curled my hair today and I, I like literally just did it. So it's like really curly right now, but hopefully it'll like fall more throughout the video because it's kind of a lot right now. Right now I'm using this moisturizer. It's an Origins moisturizer. It's like their matte one. Okay, so I think I'm gonna do primer first and then do eyebrows, but I'll let you know what primer I'm using. I'm using the primers that I use on an everyday basis. I use three primers, but oh well. I'm using first the Clarins Instant Poreless Primer and I'm just putting that where have more pores. I'm really hoping that I stick with my plan and get this out either probably like the day before our Valentine's Day or Valentine's Day. It'd make more sense to get it out the day before Valentine's Day in case you like wanna do this look for some reason. I don't know. Hopefully it turns out good. I'm not really counting on it. Oh yeah, then I used the Smashbox primerizer and now I'm using the Guerlain primer with the one with gold in it. Those are my three favorite primers at the moment and I like the combination of them. Okay, now I'm gonna do my eyebrows. I'm not gonna do them crazy because I don't like crazy eyebrows on me. My favorite eyebrow pencil is the NYX Micro Brow. It's a dupe for the Anastasia Brow Wiz if you have that. I used to have the Brow Wiz, but this one's like $10. Okay, I'm gonna do them off camera and I'll be back. Okay, yeah, that took me like two seconds. I'm just going in with the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. Now I'm going to prime my eyelids for the eyeshadow and I'm gonna use the Maybelline Better Skin Concealer just because it's like what I've been using every day. And I'm gonna carry it like up to my eyebrows and kind of put it like the shape of my eyebrows. I'm gonna take like uh, my flat brush. I'm gonna take this brush. It's the Morphe M432 brush. And I'm just gonna kind of like carve out my eyebrows. All right, now is the eyeshadow. So I'm gonna be using the James Charles palette because it just has like good colors and it has the best red, which I'm pretty sure I'm gonna use. I'm first gonna start out with this shade. It's called Pinkity Drinkity. It's the lightest shade. It's like the trend, the lighter, like a light pink transition shade. And just like add that to my eye just as a transition shade. You can't see what I'm doing and it doesn't look like I've done anything, but in person you can see it better. And now I just really don't know what look I want to do. I'm going to go in with the pink shade and then this mauve shade. So skip and marry and just add that to like my outer half and into the crease a little bit. Okay. It looks a lot better in person, I promise. I don't know why it's looking like this on camera. Now I'm gonna take a smaller brush. I'm gonna go in with the red called You're Kidding and add that to more towards the outer part of my eye. Okay, then I'm gonna go back in with the bigger brush and go in with the pink, the light pink and blend everything out. We're gonna go with this one. I'm not gonna use a lot though. It's called Boutique. And add that to the farthest, the most outer part of my eye. Okay, that did not work. Okay, let's pretend that never happened. Oh gosh. This is looking so bad. Well, I took on a bigger brush this shade called Denny, and it could have, might have messed it up. But. We will go with it and hopefully the lashes cover it up. Okay, I'm gonna do the other eyeshadow on my eye and I'll be back. Got both eyes, they're not done, but they're like equal now. And I cut the creases and now I'm going in with this like pinky shimmery shade called Sister and I'm just gonna apply that to where I cut the crease. And then I'm just gonna blend it back out with like the red. Again, lashes help everything, so we're gonna go with it for now. Okay, I'm gonna do some eyeliner off camera and I'll be back with lashes and liner on. 
Okay, I'd say lashes definitely helped with the look and the eyeliner. So now onto face. I don't really, I don't like foundation, but I'm gonna use it for the sake of the video. So I'm using the Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation. I'm also not using that much foundation since I'm also gonna be using concealer. And since I'm also gonna be taking this off like right after I'm done. And don't mind me not blending to my neck. I'm taking this off right after. So when it's on your neck, it, it's so much harder to take off. Also, I'm like staying on like the outer parts of my face because I put concealer more towards the like center of my face, if that makes any sense. And I don't want it to be like more cakey than it needs to be. So I'm just like staying where I don't really apply concealer. All right, now I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline concealer again. Now we have like the base on. I need to set it like as soon as possible. I'm using the Laura Mercier powder. So today is the 12th, it's a Tuesday. So if I get this done before Valentine's Day, I will be so proud of myself, honestly, because it usually takes me a while to edit and like get it up. I just like procrastinate. <laughs> we are set. I'm gonna go in with blush. So I'm using the Tarte blush book and we're gonna be using a lot of blush today because we're going for more of a pinky look. I'm taking exhilarating angelic fortunate honestly i don't really know i'm just gonna kind of go on with like all of these ones up here and put on my cheeks and then i'm also doing my nose because that's like a thing so basically just everywhere i'm gonna go in bronzer now so this is the hula bronzer And then highlighter. I want to go in with a more pinky highlighter. So we're going to use Gumdrop from the Anastasia Sugar Glow Kit. Because I haven't really used this palette that much. I'm going to spray my face and then do it so it'll be more pigmented. Oh, that's so pretty. If it could show up on camera pink, that would be really nice because it is so pink in person. Okay, and I want to do hearts on my face. I don't really, like, want to mess it up, but, like, I also still want to do hearts on my face. I'm going to take blush because I don't want it to be too pink. And this is completely inspired. Full credits goes to Verena for this idea. I was watching her video today, and I loved it. It's pretty much exactly what she did, but she used eyeshadow, and she, like, put pink dots on her face and then carved it out with concealer, so that's what I'm going to do, but with blush. So I'm going to take this shade extraordinary and dainty hopefully this works out okay yeah it's like it's there okay that is good enough it looks crazy right now but hopefully it will end up looking better and then she just carved out hearts and hopefully i can do this but i'm just gonna go for it and this is like my lightest concealer so hopefully it'll show up more okay yeah that worked Cool, it's not really centered, but we can work with it. All right, I'm gonna do all the other ones and get back to you. Okay, so that took like two minutes. <laughs> it was actually pretty simple with the brush I was using. I actually, I really like how that turned out. I need to do lower lash line because it's looking a little weird right now without it. So I'm gonna just pretty much go back in with all the shades that we used from before. Okay, and then mascara. Okay, the last and final step is the lips, and I have no clue what I want to do for that. My original plan was to do a red, but I feel like that'll clash with it a lot. Okay, so I pulled a few options. Yeah, this would just, no. Um, this is like really monochromatic. That might work. This is not the right color. No. Honestly, I think I'm going to do this Focaler Matte Lip in the shade Chestnut, and then this on top, the ColourPop Aquarius Lip Gloss, because like... I don't just want to do the lip gloss. I don't know. We're just going to try it. If it doesn't look good, don't take it off. Okay, this is kind of a lot with the look, but hopefully this will tone it down once this like dries. Because I don't want the lip to take away too much. Kind of tempted to just do the gloss. Yeah, we're going to take this off and just do the gloss. 
All right, so it kind of like stained. So I am gonna go in with this Lancome lip gloss in Simmer because it has like pink reflex. So it looks good at the look. Okay, so this is the final look. It looks a lot like Verena's with like the hearts and stuff. So full credits goes to her for like the heart idea. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you do, storage ran out. But if you do decide to recreate this look, be sure to let me know and tag me. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I hope you liked the look. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.